Hey Libras, hope you guys are doing really good. Welcome to your weekly love reading for November 5th to November 11th. Before we get started, I just have um, some maintenance stuff because I have a lot of new subscribers. Um, so this reading will probably start at three minutes in, just letting you know that's kind of seemed to be the, the timeline in the last few readings I've done. So thank you so much for all my new subscribers. I have over 2,600 right now. I still can't believe that. Last week I had like 900 some or other so so it's a lot of new subscribers and that's really really awesome guys you have no idea i'm so so happy um i love doing these readings for you guys i know it's brought a lot of healing to people and it's brought a lot of insight to people and that's why i do this it brings me a lot of joy to get your emails about your stories and how these videos have helped you okay that that's why i do this now speaking of emails i have a lot of emails right now that i'm going through so please be patient if you've emailed me and you haven't heard back um right now i think i'm on october 30th i think um, it's just a lot of new people, so I have a lot of new emails. So also, so, you know, for the new subscribers who don't already know, I am not doing personal readings right now. Um, I just have a lot going on in my life that I kind of got to get settled up with. Um, so probably in the new year, I will be doing personal readings. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that video announcement. I will make a video about it, um, so you guys will not miss out. Trust me, it will not be a secret. Promise, promise, promise. Um, also, I had to have the link for the birthday survey, um, so please put that, uh, put that please look for that um, in the description below. I just need your birth month and day. I don't need the year. It's just to get the uh, bonus readings out for uh, the signs in their season. Okay, so you can read up all about that. Very self-explanatory. Please fill it out, especially if you are a Scorpio with um, with Libra in your chart or if you're a Cusper, etc. If you, you know, I basically need to get the Scorpio dates to get the Scorpio bonus reading out, okay? Uh, let's see anything else. Oh, yeah donations. I've received I've received a lot more donations and you guys you have no idea how much it helps Helps way more than you guys realize right now. I'm shopping for decks. I think I'm gonna get the vice versa deck for you guys um, I it's a deck I've been wanting to work with for a long time and I think I'm gonna get great messages off of it for you guys Okay, so keep that in mind now for those of you uh, new to Tarot, new to my channel, please know these are very general readings for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, not everything will resonate because these are very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need them. Sometimes that's not the major collective. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Try not to make it fit. Remember, I get multiple messages, so some things might resonate, some things might not. Take from it what you will. I subscribe to a lot of great readers. If you want to check out other people, they're all really great. The people I subscribe to, Her, Her, Her Immortal Majesty is probably one of my favorites right now, my personal favorites, and Ray of Light Tarot is, is pretty awesome too. He has great energy. Um, also keep in mind, because this is all energy, guys, that these messages might pertain to you or someone that you are connecting with, okay, or someone in your immediate circle. It's all energy, so it could go vice versa. And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific unless I indicate to you it is gender specific. All right, so let's get started. Oh, look, three on the dot. Huh? <laughs> Time that one perfectly. Okay, Libras, let's see what we got for you. Um, I don't hold on to energy, so I can't remember what your last reading was about, but I know you guys were been dealing with, um, with someone who's very persistent and doesn't really want to go away. That I can remember. Um, so let's see what we have for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Excuse me, I had coffee. <laughs> Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Especially if you're a cusper, if you're a Libra Scorp cusper, check out Scorpio. Scorpio's reading was pretty interesting this time around, too. Um, let me see what we got here, Libras. Also, Venus Retro has shifted into Libra. Um, so there's going to be a lot of purging of relationship stuff, old and new. So just keep that in mind if it's going to be a little bit of a rough ride for you. Um, any messages for my Libras in love? November 5th, November 11th. Last shuffle, guys. Sorry. I'm like, last shuffle, last shuffle. That's good. Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Hmm. Interesting. Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages from my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages from my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Okay, any messages from my Libras in love? Okay. Oh, we got the tower. All right, guys, overall energy. We have the Aquarius card here. So this is, um, you know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, could have aqua in your chart. This is losing hope and a wish come true. 
okay. Oh, interesting. For some of you, it's a delay. Uh, yeah, for some of you, I'm saying you've lost hope in a wish coming true. And the other, and for, it's almost like 50-50. In the other half, I'm sensing, um, you know your wish is here, but it's just not quite, <laughs> not quite turning over to truly present itself. You know it's here, you can feel it. It's just not quite showing and glowing and all that goodness. Um, we have Six of Swords, so Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's about, this is a planning card and it's also about moving into calmer waters. I feel like this is you guys kind of planning something with somebody. Um, it's also a travel card. Could be traveling or moving, moving, ooh, moving with somebody. Um, I actually didn't mean to say moving. It just kind of fell out of my mouth. <laughs> Interesting. Some of you guys might be moving in with somebody. Hmm. But there's a delay. Okay. And we do have the tower card. Remember, guys, this is Scorpio season. It is all about the tower moments in Scorpio season. Why? To bring down faulty um, foundations. Even if it's not a faulty foundation, it's to bring down the foundations to make a stronger one, no matter what the foundation is made out of. Okay? Interesting. Okay, so like I said, I already got quite a few messages off these three cards. So some of you have completely lost hope in a wish coming true. Some of you just know it's delayed. Some of you are traveling and or moving in with somebody or moving with somebody that you already live with um, and moving into calmer waters. But I'm sensing a lot of planning. I'm sensing a lot, a lot of planning here. All right, so let's clarify this tower moment. That's standing out <laughs> clear as day. Uh, let's clarify this tower moment. For my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify the tower. Actually, I think Scorpio had a tower too. I might be dealing with some Libra Scorpio cuspers here. I'm pretty sure Scorpio had the tower as well. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for my... Almost said Scorpio. Clarify the tower for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Yeah, I, there's definitely Scorpionic energy here. Clarify the tower. Clarify the... Oh, go away. I don't know why I get all these crazy messages on my phone. I swear they're just advertisements, but they just come up so quick and they're very distracting. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. For those of you new to my channel, I always let the energy dictate the cards. I never take them off the deck. I wait for flyers. All right, and I go through the entire deck. Why? Because I find more often than not, there's a lot to say. <laughs> so I never stop at the first flyer. Clarify the tower, and I want the whole story. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm a little blown away. Because it's funny, it's like, you know, you're feeling like your wish isn't here, feeling like it's not fully coming to fruition, feeling like it's delayed or just completely lost. Um, I'm telling you guys, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> telling you right now. I, I love getting these good readings because more often than not, I get negative readings because, you know, life is kind of shitty sometimes. So overall energy around the tower is six of cups. All right, this is someone from your past, someone that you're building really awesome memories with. Um, interesting. Um, definite past life connection. Definite past life connection. Uh, sorry, I'm like, I'm just getting a couple, like, a couple different things here. So, with this person from your past, <laughs> for some of you, it's not a lot of past. It's almost like... Um, kindred spirits like you met and it was just kind of instantaneous yeah for some of you i'm feeling like this is a new person um <laughs> i just got the goosebumps um wow yeah for some of you this is a brand new person that you're just quickly building great memories with um and there is a strong past life connection here i think that's why you guys hit it off so quickly who else was this 
someone else had this where it was like um it's a very kind of rushed relationship. I don't want to say rushed because it's like that sounds like it's a bad thing. I mean, this feels like it's a really great thing. You you know that they're your wish come true. It's just delayed. It's just delayed. So cards that came out. We have Ten of Cups with the King of Wands. And now we got these pa Page of Wands with Seven of Cups in reverse. I swear to God, I saw these same cards on another reading. Damn it. And I don't remember which one it is. Like I say, guys, I don't hold on to energy because it's not mine. <laughs> I don't need energy that's not mine. So when that's the case, I just, um, I you know, I just let stuff go. Um, I don't hold on to stuff. But damn it, someone had the same similar energy. And now I can't remember who it was. It might have been Scorpio. It might have been Scorpio. Check Scorpio. I like. I keep getting Scorpio ener energy anyway. But bringing it back. Sorry guys. Don't don't lose. Don't lose me. Don't lose me. So this person, this King of Wands. Uh, this is the Leo cards. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, wait a minute. Is that your one seven? Libra. October six. No, yours is Aries. Your your one seven is Aries. But this is also Aries energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, could also be another air sign. Uh, Libra, Aqua, Gemini. This is somebody who takes action. And they're definitely taking action towards you. I mean, this feels really awesome. <laughs> they're taking... Sorry, I'm like, I, I'm getting all giddy. Um, they want to take action towards you because this is what they want with you. They want full fulfillment in the home. They want a family with you. And it's funny because, like I said, for a good a majority of you, I'm sensing this is a newer part. This is like a newer relationship. Um, something you didn't see coming. Oh, it feels really good. Um... If I get quiet during readings like this and good energy, it's because I'm just basking in it. It's like I like I want some of the energy for myself um, when it's good energy. But yeah, this person wants a family with you, like hands down. I mean, with the Six of Cups too, shit, they might even want children. And this is a newer relationship. This is this is gonna be a roller coaster. Um, wow. They want a family with you. They want children with you. It's funny. I never noticed the bees in this picture before. Um, I don't know if you guys oh yeah there it goes yeah you see all those bees that's a lot there's like four four freaking bees in there um and bees to me is all about intuition spirituality you guys like oh my god you guys just like know um <laughs> you guys just know this is supposed to be a thing like you just know that you're supposed to just be together um now let's focus in on this page of wands in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse this person is walking away from their options the person you're dealing with had a lot of options. It could have been you guys, too, that had a lot of options. You guys know who you are in the story. Um, but this is someone who's, like, who's no longer going forward with their options. They're no longer putting effort into the other options. Because keep in mind, with the Seven of Cups, it's, like, there are options, but not all of them are viable. It's, like, what do you got here? We've got, we've got a Dove. We've got some Ivy. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but you got Bubbles. I Like, you got all kinds of shit going on in there. Um, not all viable stuff. Okay, not all viable stuff. If anything, I'm almost drawn to the bird, the dove. You see how like that option is the only one that's really taking flight, that's taking off. You see what I'm saying? It's like there's one option there that they knew they had and it's like they know the rest of it's kind of frivolous and they've seen through it. They see you. They see you, Libra. And they're coming for you. Mm. <laughs> i'd love it that's so awesome energy they're really coming for you now let's um let's look at the six of swords we'll do the witch's tarot deck to clarify it in case we get ten of cups again because i'm really feeling like this is a sense of planning there's a lot of planning going on in the mix clarify six of swords for my libras in love november 5th to november 11th clarify six of swords clarify six of swords now, like I said, for a couple of you, this might be someone you do have a longer past with or someone you might even have children with that is coming towards you. Um, oh, that's interesting. For those of you that that's the case, that this is someone you have a family with, this is what they want with you. They want to restore the home. They want to restore the family. It's completely up to you if you want to take it. Okay, free will, guys. Free will. Just because you have a family with somebody doesn't mean it's someone you should be with. You know what I mean? People make that mistake all the time. But I will say this King of Wands is is not looking at their options anymore. They're walking away from their options. Okay? They're walking away. Um, so if that's all that was left needed to restore your home and your family with this person, then you have your answer. But you know this person best. And I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not your mom. I don't know your life. 
but just keep that in mind, okay? Focusing back on the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify the Six of Swords for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify the Six of Swords for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. I just can't get over how beautiful those cards are. For those of you that this is a newer relationship, I mean, this is leading to a family, a really loving family home situation. And again, those of you, this is someone really old, old and not old, but you, you know what I mean? Someone from your past, uh, like from a long time ago that you've had a long history with that you possibly have children with. I mean, that's going to be a coin toss as to whether you want to accept that or not. Totally up to you. Clarify Six of Swords clarify six of swords because if they had options that t says to me that they had a wandering eye okay i don't know if you want to put up with that there's a lot of wand energy here okay all that's missing is the knight of swords really to confirm that clarify the six of swords i mean knight of wands wow don't know why i said that clarify six of swords that's gemini energy don't know why i picked up on that clarify six of swords okay Clarify Six of Swords for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm almost sensing for those of you where it's like you have this long history of family with them that, that it's more about moving on, but we'll see what cards come out. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords. Wow, yeah, a lot of Aquarian energy. You guys have been dealing with aqua energy, whether in your chart or someone else's, but... Um, and they don't have to be an aqua, but a lot of aqua energy. Okay, so around the Six of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. I almost called him the Knight. The King of Pentacles. This is a Taurus energy. could also be Capricorn or Virgo or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> the King of Pentacles is a very grounded king, very committed king. He's a family man. And I'm like I said, guys, we got a lot of family stuff going on here. He's a family man. He brings abundance. He brings commitment. He brings stability to the home and the family. All right. He brings the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, so interesting that these cards are being laid out. And now we have the Queen of Cups with the King of Swords in reverse. Aquarius and Cancer energy. This is a double water card. You could be dealing with a very watery person. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but like I said, very heavy, 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 very heavy, very heavy Aquarius energy. And both Aqua cards are in reverse. All right. So if you're dealing with an Aqua, they they're out of balance right now. Okay, and they're trying to figure their shit out because with Aquarians, and again, I love my Aquas. I do. I love all my signs. Um, everyone brings something different to the table. Everybody's got great pros and great cons and everyone is different. Now with aquas, they are not exactly keen on commitment. Okay. <laughs> That's not usually their thing. They're a little of uh, fantastical and flighty for that. So they know they want this. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they know they want this with you. Okay. Why? Because they are ready to receive love. This is not for you guys. This is for your partner. Okay? This is how your partner is feeling collectively. All right? They feel very out of sorts because they're experiencing something they're not used to feeling. They're feeling very out of balance. Might even be, like, cutting off communication momentarily. I don't... If, they, if they're not really talking to you, I feel like it's just for a temporary period to get their heads wrapped around the situation because they realize they're ready to receive love and they also realize how much love Libras can bring to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you do have this King of Pentacles surrounding this Six of Swords energy. So like I said, for some of you, you are planning with this person that's a newer relationship. It just moved kind of fast. Um, they want a family with you. They want a home with you. They want full fulfillment with you. They're getting rid of their options. They are planning. All right? And they are planning with you a future. Now, like I said, for those of you who are, you know, dealing with 
king of wands a lot of king energy wow a lot of king energy which is good um who are dealing with the king of wands from your past so you possibly have kids with possibly have a family with that they had their options they had a wandering eye and it's like they're trying to come back you're you can't deal <laughs> you're just like no i've had enough and again doesn't have to be for everybody but that's just what i'm picking up for people in those situations as the majority you're just like no i can't i can't do it i i can't you were too unfaithful you hurt me too much you you ruined you ruined our family um i can't i can't deal with with you and your your selfish ways because i'm ready to receive love and now you're finally awakening to the fact that you need love too it's like it's almost like this person was so emotionally unavailable at some point and they like woke up and they woke up all of a sudden taking on both of this energy um and you're just like no i'm going towards my future i'm going to go towards someone who can give me that stability who can give me abundance who will support the family and who will be there for the family that is what i'm moving towards and it's not you you got me i know it's two scenarios i know it's a little hard to follow hope that got resonated with you guys um Wow, this feels really good, though. This feels really good. It's totally up to you if you want to accept this person's offer, no matter what situation you're in. Free will, guys. Free will. That's the thing about tarot. It'll help guide you. It'll help kind of show you what's going on behind the scenes, but it's up to you to make all of your decisions, all right? Let's see if we get any messages from my Libras. Any messages from my Libras in love? October. October. <laughs> so I almost said October 25th. That's weird. I don't know if anything happened on October 25th, but I don't know why I said that. Okay, any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, October 5th to November... Okay, something happened in October, apparently, for you guys. I, I know that's also your season. Just keep that in mind. Something happened in October, and it is possibly affecting your situation now. Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? I'm going to give it a couple more shuffles because I kept getting the dates all fucked up. Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love, November 5th to November 11th? Any messages for my Libras in love? Come on. November 5th to November 11th. It's kind of a hard deck to shuffle just because the, the cards are so big and my hands are so tiny. <laughs> I do have small hands. I just do. Uh, any messages for my Libras in love? November 5th to November 11th. Any messages for my Libras in love? November 5th to November 11th. Yeah, we have a lot of air here. A lot of air. A lot of water. A lot of water almost no earth just like a one earth card really um all right so we got one card so far let's see if we get anything else because i know we have a couple different scenarios here <clears throat> any messages for my libras in love any messages for my libras in love november 5th to november 11th any messages for my libras in love november 5th to november 11th okay All right, guys, so overall energy very soon. Uh, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So like I said, this tower moment is here, and it's for a weekly reading, so probably it's going to come by like the end, by the end of the week. Um, it's going to happen quick. It's going to happen soon. So just be prepared for you guys to have to make a choice. I mean, it seems like you guys aren't going to even struggle to make a choice, which I know is not... Excuse me, coffee. Which I know is not characteristic for Libra, but it seems like... For those of you where it's a new relationship and it's like you guys already know. If it's a newer relationship, you guys already know. Like you were supposed to have a family with this person. You're supposed to be with this person. Even though it's a new relationship, sometimes you just know, right? Um, and so you're planning it. You're making it happen. It's like you already know. It's not going to be a hard choice. And again, for those of you who are in the, are in the other situation where this person wants to restore the family with you because you have kids together or you live together, you built a life together and they were messing around, they had their options that they are now deciding to walk away from. Um, you're, you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> you're like, nope, I don't even need to think about this. I'm done. I'm done. You're just too selfish. You've ruined your family. I'm done. Um, so like I said, 
you guys aren't even being indecisive about it and it's happening really soon. Now we did get three cards out here. I'll read them all at once and I'll tell you what I think is going on. So we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, I'll tell you right now, this card is for those who have the family situation, okay, to stay optimistic. For those of you where it's the new relationship, you, like I said, you already know. You already know what it's supposed to be, and you know it's a little delayed, like coming true. You know it's a little delayed, but you're fine with it. You already know. This card is for those who have kids with somebody, who has a family with somebody, and they had their options, they had a wandering eye, they were messing around, and like you guys are just kind of like, uh, no, I don't know, I'm done, I need to move on, I need to move towards someone who will give me commitment and family and a fa uh, family security and abundance. That's what this card is for, to stay optimistic about it. And it seems like you guys are, honestly. I mean, you guys are very confident in the choice that you're making, you know what you want, and as long as you keep an open mind and stay very positive, you can help manifest this person into your life. Okay, I'm going to do a video on manifesting at some point, guys. I will. Um, but just stay optimistic, Libras, for those who are dealing with that family situation, okay? <clears throat> now, keep an open mind and give your relationship a chance. So, like I said, free will to all. For those in the family situation where you do want to take your person back, do it. Give it a chance. I'm not saying everyone should give it a chance because if it's a toxic situation, why would, why would you do that to yourself? You know what I mean? The universe doesn't want people to stay in toxic situations, okay? It do, they don't. No, I mean, it's not healthy. It doesn't, it doesn't facilitate growth. Um, there can be lessons learned along the way, but I mean, overall, it's like you're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be healthy. So give your relationship a chance if you know that it'll lead to good things. If you know this person is full of shit, if you know, I mean, like I said, they are moving away from their options. They are. That's coming very clearly. That is very clear as day. They are moving away from their options. But is that enough for you? That's up to you. Um, so give your relationship a chance. And especially for those where it's a new relationship, you don't even need me to tell you that. <laughs> you don't even need me to help you confirm that. And keep an open mind. For those of you who are leaving your um, family life, your, your person you created a family with, you're moving towards anything new like you just you're you are keeping an open mind as you're moving out of this situation with this person and you're going to move towards someone that gives you what you need and what you deserve they might not be who you expect usually i don't agree with the explicit messages here but i'm definitely getting that they might not be who you expect them to be like let's say for example your entire life you've dated um what's a good example here like, let's say you've dated um, betas your whole life. Like, let's say you're an alpha, you've dated betas, and it's like, it just kind of naturally happened that way because that's how betas, beta and alpha relationships kind of merge, right? It's like, one is very dominant, one not so much, one's more submissive. You might actually need to be with an alpha. You got me? So, that, I know that's like a very small, tiny, not awesome example. I'm not good at examples, guys. <laughs> not great at examples. But just just so you know, they might be different than you expect. Or if you're someone who's dated your, your own race your whole life, um, they're probably not going to be the same race or same ethnicity. You got me? Or same social standing, whatever, what have you. Um, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And for those of you who are it's a new relationship and you know that you're supposed to have a family with this person, you don't need to be an open, have an open mind. You know that this is your person. All right, so I hope that resonates, guys. And please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, Libras. These are two very different situations, two very different groups of Libras. I don't know what I'm going to title this. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye.